What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we're checking back in from SeaWorld Orlando for yet another Icebreaker roller coaster construction update. We're hoping there has been a lot of progress with the ride. And before we head inside the park, we're going to go over to the stores lot and hopefully see some new stuff. Also, right in the front entrance for the parking toll booth, there's a couple changes. Let's go check it out. No! It's a little bit busy this morning over here at the Ticket Boost. It's the first day of SeaWorld's Christmas celebration, so we're expecting it to be a little bit busier. Right over here. Should be right in, however. Yep, the Christmas music is blaring. We're in the entrance. We're on our way. Well, walking through the front entrance area, we can see that beautiful tree is up right now. It's got some different colors this year. I like it. So again, the park looks awesome right now with all the decorations up on the buildings. And at night, even better. And just a heads up for those of you visiting earlier in the day, Christmas Market and the pathway that is associated with it does not open until 5 p.m. Walking through the waterfront now, we can see that snow globe is there for photo opportunities. It's gonna be open a little bit later, but yes, it's here. Seaport Theater, and we can see over here a special showing of Pets Ahoy Holiday Spectacular. Showtimes at 11, 12 30, 2 15, 3 45, and 5 15, with the park closing at 10 p.m. tonight. And there's Icebreaker, ladies and gentlemen, from across the lake with the sea of trees looking beautiful with that beyond vertical spike now in place. The ocean is the heart. We 
we are one world, united by one ocean. Over here by the exit for Wild Arctic and we can see work walls up right there. The pathway does open at 5 p.m. again for the Christmas market. And just beyond the work walls we can see some equipment with lots of dirt being moved. So good news they're finally working on the back portion of the ride.
Oh yeah, it is time for the Sky Tower. We can see it's open today with only a 10 minute wait. Admission, $3. Let's go do this. Thank you. Did you know that SeaWorld World, that's Discovery Cove, where you can snorkel with rays and exotic fish, relax on a beautiful beach, and even swim alongside dolphins. Antarctica, Empire of the Penguin, which transports you into the icy world of the penguin like never before. Experience the mysterious land through the penguin's eyes on a first of its kind on any of the guided tours, educational programs, or restaurant reservations, just stop by the guest information counter near the front of the SeaWorld entrance gates. All right, so now we're walking into the Shark Wreck Reef area, and we can see some of the kiosks open over here for food. That's what we see right there. Booth number five, fish and chips. But we're on our way over to Mako. Getting real close to a thousand. I don't think I'll get it today. It might end on 999. Mako! And the ride currently has a five minute wait. Yeah. Running pretty good as we can see. Making the course. Let's go catch a ride, shall we? Right next to Mako, we have the Nautilus Theater, and we can see Oh Wondrous Night with show times at 4 and 5.30. I would suggest getting here early as it gets extremely packed. Look at all that queuing over there. Well, this is not exactly good news. Infinity Falls is closed today, as in will not open at all. There's no water running either, so uh, yeah. Of course, some of your favorite sea lions, Clyde and Seymour, are back for Sea Lion High, the Christmas special. Showtime's 1, 3.30, and 5 o'clock. Hey, look, good news. Remember that snow globe from earlier? It's now open for photo opportunities. All right, so here we are, walking along the pathway over towards Bayside Stadium. Again, construction for Icebreaker right on the other side of this wall right here. And on the other side of this wall, too.
And just like over at Shamu Stadium, SeaWorld's marketing team has another time-lapse camera up, this time at Bayside Stadium. Don't forget guys, the ice skating show is going on. It is a fantastic one. Highly recommend it. And of course right now, for opening weekend, we have just one show time. During other periods of the event, they have two or more. Again, this pathway leads over to the Christmas Village. We can see some of the lights up right there. And the icicles in the trees as well. And just like what we were talking about, Winter Wonderland on Ice, the park's ice skating show. We can see right there, showtime tonight, 8.45. And if you're interested in meeting Rudolph, Bumble, Yukon Cornelius, and the group, well, right over in this area again, we have a storybook walkthrough with character meet and greet. Yes. Trees right here look awesome with all the lights. But guess what? The sea of trees out on the water are about to turn on. forget there are plenty of food and drinks around here in the Christmas marketplace. You can even get alcohol over there as well. Of course, just like years prior, we have the South Pole Tree Lot and North Pole Tree Lot with exactly how many days until Christmas? Currently says 32. Coming up quick, guys. Of course, don't forget, if you like train sets, they've got you covered. Woo wee That is a nice front entrance area. Slow rolling manta. Slow rolling manta. It completely stopped on the mid course and barely crawling through the inversions. Well guys, that's gonna do it for another video here from SeaWorld Orlando for Icebreaker Roller Coaster Construction. I'm happy to say the Beyond Vertical Spike is done and crews should be shifting towards the launch area and top hat coming up very soon. Of course, tonight was opening night for SeaWorld's Christmas celebration. It's an awesome event, highly recommend it. And of course, we do have Manta doing its flyby right here. We're gonna have more updates, so if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem, and I will see you out on the Midway.